innovation, experimentation, and pushing the limits of what we have, these are how we reach toward what we could achieve. Humanity has always been driven, for better and bad, to create the finest tools and build things that can offer everyone a better life. Without key inventions, we wouldn't have cars, modern medicine, or even the internet. So we keep pushing until we find that breakthrough, share it, and move on to the next thing to improve. Well, it may feel like we've reached our peak with technology, but have we really? There are still things left to invent or perfect. So today, let's have a look at 15 groundbreaking inventions that will change the world. Number 15. IBM Quantum System. Two technology doesn't move linearly, it leaps. IBM's Quantum System 2, revealed in late 2023, is one of those leaps. Classical computers run on binary, ones and zeros. Quantum computers run on qubits, units that can exist in multiple states at once. That alone makes them exponentially more powerful for certain calculations. IBM claims this system can handle up to a billion computations inside a single quantum circuit compared to the 100 million threshold of previous versions. That's not a slight improvement. It's a structural overhaul. If this system works as designed, it could change entire industries, finance, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and even medicine. We're not talking about theoretical physics anymore. We're talking machines that could simulate molecular reactions, calculate protein folding, or forecast climate patterns decades ahead. IBM isn't promising magic, but they're pointing at a door no one's opened before. Quantum might just be the next revolution, and this system is the beginning of that path. Number 14. Exoskeletons. Depending on what you've seen, exoskeletons have shown up in various forms, some used in construction, others imagined for the military to enhance strength and speed. But these aren't sci-fi props, they're real. And we're just waiting for that next leap in design to make them practical on a larger scale. At their core, exoskeletons are about physical enhancement. They boost movement, reinforce posture, and extend human capability in ways the body alone can't. Whether it's lifting heavy equipment or supporting injured limbs, their impact is already being tested. Strap one on, and you're immediately equipped to take on demanding tasks with less fatigue and more control. It's still early, and the more advanced models haven't hit mainstream use yet, but progress is steady. With the right breakthroughs, these systems could become everyday gear in both medical and industrial fields. It's only a matter of time before they go from prototype to public hands. Number 13. The Pegasus Flying Car. This vehicle, called the Pegasus Flying Car, was introduced in 2024. And no, it's not quite what it looks like. It's shaped like a streamlined buggy, but lifts vertically like a chopper. It's pretty interesting, but not world-changing. Still, sci-fi didn't promise hoverboards for nothing. If anything, Pegasus shows what's possible. Its design opens new ideas about personal transport. That said, affordability is a wall. This model isn't cheap, and most people can't get within shouting distance of owning one. But the concept matters. Aerial commuting could break traffic bottlenecks, deliver emergency response faster, and redesign cities entirely. Right now, it's not feasible. But this kind of prototype tells us the dream is still alive. Flying cars aren't just for comic books or nostalgic movie trailers anymore. We might not be flying to work tomorrow, but if developers crack cost, energy, and infrastructure hurdles, it won't just be the rich in the air. It'll be everyone. Number 12. Snail-inspired robotic swarms. The word swarm usually brings insects to mind but it also defines how certain animals move and operate in coordinated groups to achieve a common task. That's the idea behind snail-inspired robotic swarms, a design concept focused on mimicking how snails move and cooperate. Engineers hope to use that structure to build machines that can collectively perform jobs humans either can't reach or would take too long to complete. 
These robots could help clear debris, sanitize hazardous zones, or clean tight, unreachable spaces in buildings or pipelines. Each robot functions as part of a group, working in unison without central commands, just like swarm behavior in nature. It's not science fiction. It's a growing field in robotics. And if executed properly, it would ease burdens in cleanup, emergency response, and other logistical operations. These aren't humanoid robots. They're small, task-oriented, and built for efficiency, just as nature intended. And that's exactly what makes them so effective. Number 11. Teleportation. We're talking pure science fiction here, but the groundwork is being studied. Teleportation, at least in experimental physics, isn't fantasy. While we're far from transporting people, researchers have already demonstrated quantum teleportation, moving information across space instantly by linking particles through entanglement. The idea of skipping physical travel entirely and appearing elsewhere in an instant has obvious appeal without traffic or commuting. Surgeons could jump from one OR to another without wasting minutes. Organs for transplant could move across the country in seconds. The potential time-saving is staggering. It wouldn't just make travel faster, it would redefine how time is used. Imagine visiting loved ones across continents or responding to disasters with zero delay. Technological hurdles are massive, sure. We're nowhere near having it in practice. But the fact that real scientists are even looking into how atoms could be moved or duplicated remotely is enough to keep the idea alive, for now. Number 10. The Line City If You've followed global development news. You've probably heard of Saudi Arabia's The Line, a city unlike any other currently being built on this holy earth. It's a linear metropolis designed for zero carbon emissions. There will be cars, streets, or pollution. Everything, from homes and schools to clinics and businesses, is stacked in a continuous line, connected by AI-driven transport and powered entirely by renewable sources. Even if the full plan isn't completed as marketed, the core idea still shakes up the blueprint of what cities can be. Instead of spreading out, it condenses inward. Governments worldwide are trying to go green, but the line goes huge. Rather than retrofitting, it reinvents urban life from the ground up. If even parts of it succeed, it'll reshape how future cities are planned, especially in resource-scarce environments. It's both bold and risky. But ambition this size is what environmental change has been missing until now. Number 9. Humanoid Robots We already know what AI is, but now let's talk about its physical counterpart humanoid robots. The concept is simple. A machine designed to resemble humans in form and function, capable of handling tasks we either can't perform or prefer not to. From media like Mass Effect, Star Wars, and iRobot, we've always envisioned robotic assistants in homes, offices, and public spaces. Some see them as a threat, others as the next evolutionary step. With human-like design, these machines could help with caretaking, labor, security, and even emotional support. The real question? How advanced should they be? Intelligence is one thing, autonomy is another. No one wants a robot that disobeys safety commands. Still, with the right boundaries and tech, these machines could revolutionize daily life, especially for people with mobility issues or those in need of assistance. The tech isn't there yet, but the foundations have been laid. Number 8. The Hyperspectral Imager The Hyperspectral Imager, or Hyde 90 as the developers casually call it, is a specialized sensor that can detect and visualize otherwise invisible gases in the air. Sounds minor, but this could save lives. Poisonous gases like carbon monoxide are completely undetectable without the right tools. If one leaks into a room, people may never even realize they're in danger until it's too late. Worse, first responders rushing in might get hit the same way. Hyde 90 changes that. It doesn't just alert, it shows exactly where the danger is, helping plan safe rescues or cordon off high-risk areas. And it's not just about carbon monoxide. 
Flammable gases, chemical spills, or airborne toxins could be identified instantly, before ignition or exposure. That kind of clarity is everything in crisis zones. It's a quiet kind of tech, not flashy, not headline hungry, but exactly the kind of tool that could mean the difference between walking away and never walking again. Number seven, space tourism and travel. The dream of leaving Earth has always lingered in human culture. Space isn't just a final frontier, it's a target for innovation. While rockets and shuttles already exist, most still barely scrape the edge of Earth's atmosphere. True space tourism, routine civilian trips to orbit or beyond, is still in early development. Companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX are pushing it forward, launching short missions to test viability and safety. But this isn't about joy rides for billionaires. It's about paving the way for long-term possibilities. Lunar stations, Mars outposts, orbital hotels. Eventually, exploring other planets won't be about escape. It'll be exploration. If it works, it changes how we view distance, borders, and even survival. Our planet's resources are limited. Expanding outward isn't optional. It's inevitable. It took decades just to reach the moon. Real progress takes time, but each launch brings us closer to the day when going up isn't a metaphor. It's a vacation plan. Number six, artificial floating islands. Now let's talk about a very specific solution, floating islands. These aren't fantasy setups. They're engineered platforms placed on water bodies built to function like temporary wetlands. Plants grow on these islands and their roots dangle into the water filtering contaminants and absorbing excess nutrients. That's incredibly important in places where algae overgrowth has choked out native ecosystems. These islands offer a controlled way to restore water balance without needing to dredge or chemically treat lakes and ponds. They're modular, scalable, and can be relocated or expanded depending on the body of water they're serving. The real strength of this idea isn't just ecological, it's flexible. It blends environmental restoration with low infrastructure demands. Cities, parks, or agricultural areas with polluted runoff can deploy these floating ecosystems without massive construction projects. Clean water, restored biodiversity, and a minimal carbon footprint, all from a platform that floats quietly and works non-stop without needing power. Number five, GoSun EV Solar Charger. Electric vehicles are no longer a novelty, but that doesn't mean they've reached their peak. One of their biggest challenges isn't cost or availability, it's charging. That's where the GoSun EV solar charger stands out. This compact unit uses solar power to charge electric vehicles directly, making it ideal for off-grid use or supplemental energy during long drives. Think of it as an independent energy reserve, not a replacement for full charging stations. It doesn't store a massive charge yet, but it proves that solar tech can work alongside battery systems. If future models scale in efficiency, cars could charge while parked or even moving. That would eliminate long wait times and increase travel range, removing a major hesitation for potential EV buyers. It's not just about convenience. It's about reshaping what sustainable transport looks like. The combination of solar energy with electric vehicles isn't a question of if, it's a matter of when. Number four, SimSoft technology. SimSoft technology is something you've probably seen used in flight simulators, but its reach has gone much further. Developed in Turkey, this simulation system trains people for high-stakes environments, trains, military operations, shipping routes, and more. It replicates complex real-world scenarios with full-scale control systems and simulated pressure, allowing trainees to make decisions in near-identical conditions. The software has proven valuable for everything from disaster preparedness to industrial expansion planning. Security teams, transport officials, and emergency planners can test procedures before applying them in real life. The more accurate the simulation, the better the real-world outcome. As virtual environments become more sophisticated, SimSoft's role continues to grow. It's now used internationally, proving that precise simulation is not just for pilots, 
It's for decision makers across sectors. This technology isn't about theory. It's about practice, testing, and foresight. And with global systems growing more complex by the day, that kind of preparedness isn't optional. It's essential. Number three, self-healing polymer. Well now, here's something real scientists are working on right now. A polymer that can heal itself without any tools, wires, or even heat. Just room temperature and time. Early versions are still being refined, but the science behind it is already making waves. Imagine using this technology on materials that crack, wear out, or snap under stress. Roads, bridges, and everyday objects could all benefit. A scratch on a car, the surface reforms itself. A stress fracture in concrete, it seals back up. No patches, no replacements. This isn't about cosmetics. It's about performance and durability. Reducing repairs means cutting costs, lowering material waste, and extending a product's lifespan. And that could apply everywhere. Construction, automotive, aerospace, even consumer tech. The material behaves differently depending on shape and structure, but the potential is massive. It's not just a scientific novelty, it's a foundation for smarter design and more resilient engineering across the board. Number two, solar bubble dryer. Here's a piece of tech that could genuinely help farmers in the field. When crops are exposed to rainfall, they need a controlled level of moisture to grow properly. But if they stay wet for too long, they become vulnerable to insects, fungal growth, and other issues that can ruin entire harvests. That's where the solar bubble dryer comes in. It's designed to safely remove moisture from crops after harvest using solar heat, without damaging them in the process. This drying method helps prevent spoilage and waste, especially in humid or rain-prone regions. Farmers can preserve more of their yield, increasing both efficiency and income. The setup uses a sealed tunnel that traps heat and airflow, which creates a clean and controlled drying environment. It might not sound groundbreaking on paper, but innovations like this are exactly what help small-scale farmers stay sustainable in changing climates. It's simple, but smart. Number one, solar-powered vacuum. It doesn't sound like a world changer at first, but look closer. The idea of a solar-powered vacuum might seem small, but it shows a shift in thinking. Every device, no matter how basic, leaves an environmental footprint. Vacuums that run on electricity still contribute to power consumption. So when someone engineers a version that uses solar energy, it opens doors. It's not just about cleaning, it's about reducing dependency on fossil fuels, even in everyday tasks. This particular model picks up debris as it rolls forward and stores it in a bin that can be emptied easily. Small invention, yes, but it's the kind that gets copied, modified, and applied to bigger machines later on. Solar-integrated tech could spread from gadgets to industrial tools, public sanitation vehicles, and more. That's how change begins. Not with noise, but with utility. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon.